Hello everyone and welcome back to Mario Plus Rabbit's King of Battle DK's Adventure. Last episode we made our way to these underground ruins after fighting Rabbit Kong and falling into the ruins. I don't know how else to explain it, but I also forgot to equip my most effective weapon against Rabbit Kong on Rabbit Cranky. Yeah, shut up, shut up. I did equip it now because it is 10 more percent chance to get ink. And I also upgraded our sub weapons for Rabbit, not Rabbit Kong, Rabbit Peach and DK. Egad, beware the invulnerable idols of recoil, its unforgiving eyes. We are but unworthy lopers. It has a strong connection to its worshippers. They are the source of its power. If we defeat its worshippers, the editor of recoil will accept us as worthy and not bother us. They're big on rituals, these idols. So... These rituals of recoil count as enemies that you can't attack them. They do 75 damage, that is a lot. And we have to defeat a certain amount of enemies before they get a chance to do that. Hmm. So one thing I did upgrade is DK's Magnet Groove, to where it will always deal Mac, it will always pull enemies as m close to DK as possible. I think some of you might be able to see why that's powerful, but I'm going to show it off after I move characters around. So I can now draw in these three enemies at once. And they come as close as possible. Now combine this with I have upgraded your his sub weapon. Rabbit tongues and rings, but he's taking out three rabbits at once. That is a lot of damage in AoE. I did not expect it to hit. It, I, why can't I English? Right. I did not expect it to hit Rabbit Peach though, which is unfortunate. I need heals. Desperately. You can see how much damage that did by how much it did to my allies too. Oh, and that's perfect. Can I... It'll, it'll hit you no matter what. And if I can get honey on the uh, buckler, that'd be perfect. Perfect! <laughs> like, I, like I just said it would be. Oh, and I still have Rabbit Cranky's movement too. I didn't realize that. Okay, let's go for ink as well as honey. Now you can't attack or move. Uh, you might also have a uh, six health. Anyway, I want to stop these guys from acting. What's your movement range, real quick? Rabbit Peach is in range anyway, so what do I care about this? I want to go here. I know I want to hit the other guy, but I also don't want to land next to a fire barrel. And I can put all three of these to sleep. It's not all about damage. Oh, it hit DK. I thought it would hit Rabbit Peach. I figured she'd be slower. Or closer. And it turns out I wasn't able to put all enemies asleep. Right, so I want to clear you with that so I can use your shield. There's nowhere I can move where that idol won't hit me. But I want to go here for a reason. One, DK takes a bit of damage. It's fine. Okay, he's frozen. I can see if I can deal with that afterwards. And... Let's not attack you, actually. I want Vampire Chance. I want to heal. And this, these dashes alone are enough to take care of the enemies. There's, it's better not to dash DK, I mean, clear him, because his hero build site's not going to do anything at his current range. I can do this and I miss. So let's go. Here seems good, and I can use Hero Sight. As well as. Yeah, I might as well target you. Oh, that's Rabbit uh, P. 
Peach hitting got hit with uh, Vampire. I'll clear that next turn. And just in case, I'll activate shield. So that is every enemy dealt with as well. Uh, except those two. Then he burned himself. I was right to activate that shield. Just good to know that. And I'm just gonna blow both of these guys up. Just like that. I don't get healing till next turn. I wanna s I can finish these guys off pretty easily. I wanna see, can I take the aggro off of Rabid D- or, uh, not Rabid, just normal DK. Because I don't know if he can survive another hit. And better to save my abilities. Let's go here. Sure, no golden shot, but it's not really an answer. Like, oh wait, and that's all of them. I thought I'd had to defeat a certain amount of enemies, but no, I just needed to defeat the ones that were there. Two turns? Guess it's possible. Right, now, we get to see another trophy now, because I've done worse. I might come back and do this off episode, just so I can get the max trophy bonus and more bananas to max out my equipment. I mean, I'll max it out by the end of it anyway, and I can actually see this thing here, and I can't interact with it, unfortunately. So, let's move on. Grab more bananas, because bananas are good. And let's push this back. No, actually, yeah, that seems good. I think I know what I want to do here. Yeah. Just kind of swap the sides of these so I can push them all around. And that allows me to get there, but I don't think it's going to be that simple to get it. Num. Alright, what I want to do here is... This one. Side. This one. This one, and push all three of them that way. Got it. Pretty simple if you just take a second to look at it. It's not going to be worth it, it's just going to be a music disc or a sketch or something, and it's the soundtrack for the dungeon. But what are these rabbits up to? Some wheel? A reenactment of one of the sacrifice of his unemployed brother-in-law, who was living with him at the time. He claimed that the banana gods told him to do it, but I'm not so sure. Wow, talking about murder in a Nintendo game. Why am I not that surprised? I, I should be a lot more surprised. There's actually, there's three paths to go here. Pretty sure I came from that way? Yeah, oh! Hello, puzzle piece. I'll take you. And whatever's up there. It's a puzzle again. And that water's frozen. So that does that, and they can block off a pipe. Here? Does that do me any good? Yes, I can get over here now. Actually, I could always get over here. Uh, this allows me to activate either red or blue. I want blue down, actually, which means I have to go back. And I'm going to push you on red so I can just kind of get over here. No. Okay, so it has to be on yellow. No, I put it on green so I can get back through the green pipe. Now I want blue over here. Now I have an access to another block. And I'm just gonna... After I get this block out, I'm gonna push that block on the colorless block, and I didn't mean to spin there. Right, 
Or if I do that, that creates a path open there. I just need to move this off of the green block? No. I need to move it off the blue block, so I need to... I, I get I get this. It, it's, it's complicated to do all at once, but once you get the hang of it... Push you over here, then push that to the green block, and then push the other two into position. Because now I'm out of the way over here. And I can go back through this pipe. And once that's done, I just need this pipe here. Though I did miss that puzzle piece over there, I'm going to have to go back and grab that. Old smuggler's cave. So for that one, I need green and red. Should be pretty simple. Actually, I want to keep start this out on blue. But then I can't get back, so it's not as simple as it seems. No, I can't get back there. Hmm. I need colorless red and green. I think if I do this, I can get it. So, red. Colorless. And yeah, green's easy. Just push this block to the side and... Puzzle piece unlocked. And getting back is also easy. I just push this off of the thing and it should open one. Yeah, it should open one up. It's it's an easy thing to understand, hard to pull off. And I think there was two puzzle pieces there as well. I don't remember how many you started out with, but I have 14 now. Will I collect them all? Stay tuned to find out. Because I have no idea. I don't know where they all are right now anyway. Anyway, another one of those th Oh, gosh. Uh, no ritual. I see. Ah, fire burpers. At the end of our turn, they'll shoot flames from their mouths. Not all of them, however. If you watch carefully, you should be able to tell which ones are about to belch fire. And I'm going to forget all about them. Anyway, what weapons can I upgrade? So I always do bounce. Let's get... The, the radioactive banana, sure. And then skills. I don't use that very much. Sure, throw range, and I can't get anything on Mad Peach, but I can get more pipe movement, which could be useful here. Right then. I don't actually want to move the enemies around. Uh, let's just go here and drag everyone as far as possible except those smashers. That seems like a good plan to me. Yep, I'll take these three out pretty quickly. And if I fail to do that, then I'll hit them with Rabbit Cranky's attack. Or Rabbit Peaches, either one. You're taking the long way around, aren't you? Anyway, Sonar Scrambler 2. Is that all of them? Yes. I mean, it took a little bit of damage from that, but it's fine. What could go wrong? Anyway, I want to see if we can smash this and push. Hmm. Sure, what could go wrong? Oh, there's summoners there. I have to defeat 13 enemies as well. Right, you're, this will barely hit you. But it hits you all the same. Anyway, I'm not too worried about you, especially because you're asleep. I'll save the shield. Oh yeah, the fire burns. I completely forgot these existed. And they missed everyone. I told you I'd forget about them. 
All right, I want to take that summoner down quickly. And more enemies, I figured there would be. Anyway, you don't exist anymore. You still exist, but you won't for long, and I want to move... Over here, it's good. Right, now, what does this do more damage against? Uh, doesn't matter, you're dead from it anyway. Eat my yacht. I'm assuming it's a yacht. It's, it's some kind of boat. Uh, let's go with DK's attack first. And just throw another rabbit on him. Oh, wait, that was another smasher. Right then, this could work out really well for me if I do it right. Hmm. Right then, I'm only hitting one that didn't think always possible with this, but yeah, it'll work. I'm going to activate both Harry Eye and Stink Eye. Hopefully Harry Eye activates first, but you can probably see where I'm going with this. Sure, hit both. I failed to use you during the boss fight, so I'm using you now. Oh, when I hit DK, no! Oh, and he can't attack! Sure, I'll take a heal. But him hitting DK with that barrel was the worst thing that could happen. I didn't even notice him. Oh, yeah, everyone's burnt. Right, we got some hoppers and another smasher. Hoppers will hit DK, that's fine. Wait, oh, that still activates through that. Good to know. Uh oh. Oh, that creature's just out of range, and <laughs> he kind of just didn't live anymore. How many enemies do I got left? One, two, three, four, five enemies. There's, like, three on the field. Alright. Let's play this way. Oh, what can I grab one of these? No. One over here? Also no. I don't want to attack directly with with uh, DK because of the way the enemies are positioned. Uh, or mostly the fact that I have weakened and I just don't want to get in direct conflict with the Smasher, which I'm probably going to do here. Ooh, burn. He's as far away as possible, so I think he lost some distance there. Could be risky. I'm drawing that Smasher over here. I think that might be able to hit me. Never mind, I thought it might be able to hit me. But not when it moves. And because this is set damage, 70 is enough to KO. Great. And I have one final movement act to do. Right, Rabbit Kong, you're too far away for conflict. I'm just gonna... Set you down here. What enemies? I don't see any enemies. Please be out of range. Nope. That's bad. Oh, there's a summoner over there I never noticed. At least Rabbit Peach has her shield, but oh, okay, that's bad. If you hit Rabbit Cranky, I'm afraid we're gonna lose him. We lost him. I have not activated this shield, though. Ouch. And I don't have that either. That's unfortunate. Right, how many enemies can I dash up here? Three, I'll take that. I'm gonna go behind this cover here. Uh, 
And with this... Alright, let's have DK use his movement first. I don't want to actually toss him on top of the enemy. I have reasons for it. I want him to be in range. Please be in range of this. Yes, he is. Just barely. Uh-oh. How much health are you at, DK? 60. But you're at 4. Golden shot. DK's out in the open and... Uh-oh. Oh, I'm just out of range. I'm fine with that. You're gonna summon, aren't you? Oh, another summoner. Okay, that does 30 damage. Good. Uh-oh. That also does 30 damage. Please say I just need one more enemy. Because the difficulty is racking up here. This is close. I just have Rabbit Peach left. I just need one more enemy. And this should do it. Giant scuba explosive to the rescue or whatever it is. And gold shot. Battle cleared. Surely there was no problems this fight. Okay, yeah, that's a fair rating. I guess I get to see both trophies we've never seen before in the same episode. And I missed some bananas around here. At least we full heal in between every level. I'm glad that exists, at least. Yes, I can interact with this statue. Rabbit Kong found a tiny garden snake while planting some hydrangeas. The artist blew it out of proportion to stroke his ego. I mean, it looks cool. I'll give you that. It's wrong, but it looks cool. There's a lot of bananas over there, and I want them. And I think I see how I get over there as well. Oh, hello, puzzle piece number 15. What? Oh, it's just... Okay, here's how I get over there. And hello, puzzle piece number 16. And a bunch of bananas. Alright, spinning around. Hold on. That gave me a bunch of bananas, but I didn't grab them all. I'm not complaining. In fact, it really doesn't matter. I was going to grab them all anyway. I don't like how they hide things behind the lesser versions of the thing and you just get more of the thing. This poor fellow is besieged by the telemarkers demanding that he invest in banana futures. Robert Collins' banana hoarding caused a lot of vulgarity in the market. If I, rabber, if I was a rabbit, I'd take the short position. <laughs> the banana's a f actual cell phone. That's great. Anyway, puzzle here. I have a red, blue and yellow switches. The red switch is over there. Got it. But I need to press on the blue switch to activate it. Should be pretty easy to hit the blue switch, at least. I seem to have a problem. Hmm. Right then. The usual strategy, if, if I have two blocks, I can always do this thing with them. To just create a loop of blocks until I figure it out. This works, yeah. I got it. No biggie. And it should be blue switch down, and let's change up the red switches. Also, I don't understand why some switches you can move while you press stuff, but not all switches. It's just weird to me. 
like I, oh, I can move here. I think I, I can't move on the switches when I press them down like the buttons, but I can other times when it's like a switch. Jungle Jabber we got there. There's the next stage up ahead, but I see a cannon as well as a bunch of bananas. Which, that cannon leads to a cannon, and I'm gonna have to head back there. And these lead to bananas, and another puzzle. This game has a lot of puzzles. I, I wouldn't, I would definitely understand if you want to skip these. Where do, even, where do I even start with this? Okay, I see. I can raise one block here. And I can do the same with this other block. So let's go ahead and change up the blocks. Huh. Okay. So there's a red switch there. I can't hit that now. Well, I can if I do this. And then just kind of turn this one around. Yeah, that works. That works out. Alright, once I get these blocks over here, I'm going to need to hit them again, though, if I'm correct. Alright, let's move this block first. It's just about getting both of them over there for now. Which is pretty easy once you figure out how. Oh, and it push it locks them over there. Good. I'm fine with that. So now I just need to find a way to hit both buttons again. First one, easy. It's just simple as doing this. The second one I'm worried about. Though I should be able to do... No, that's off. But I might be able to do my juggling trick. No, I can't. Yeah, that changes things. Right then. I do this? No, that just sends me right back to where I started. Now I wanted to push that one down and... Then what? So... Can I do anything with that? Not really. This is a tough one. Right. I have a problem. I can super speed until I figure out the solution. Unless I solve the solution in like 30 seconds, I'll see you soon. I might have just actually figured it out. Uh, okay. Or not. I'm an idiot who spams buttons faster than I should be spamming them. And I've done it again. Oops, no, I... Duh. Right then, I'll see. Now I'll actually see uh, when I figure this thing out. Which I think I just did. I'm not going to need to super speed this, am I? 
I might. So I can reset it like that as much as I need. Good, and I'll swap whichever side is where. Wait, I just... Can't push it the wrong way, like that. I don't like this level. Actually... Wait. I don't know what I just did. But it worked. Can I tell you what I did to solve this puzzle? No. But it made those rabbits jump when I got it. That doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, I saw a puzzle piece I missed. I'm making good progress on the puzzle pieces, and I highly doubt that they have anything to do with the level progression. Well, I'm only missing three. So if I am collecting them in order, and the last one's right before the final boss, I'm guessing as soon as we get out of this cave, we're finished with this story. And because of that, I'm getting this episode off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye! Oh. Oh.